Hey, Internet. For uh, Vlog the first, I... Well, wait, second, because that last one was a Vlog. If you count it as a Vlog, which I kind of labeled it a Vlog. Anyway, I thought I'd take a moment to explain slash confirm my internet handle. Officially, I am backslash echo. That said, it's almost never possible to actually use the backslash character when computers are involved, so the correct expansion is backslash echo. I came up with it in high school, when I started actually using the internet on a regular basis. Um, before this, before that time, any time I was trying to input a name was usually for uh, video games that ask you for a name, so I would either just ignore it, like in Legend of Zelda, when it would just default back to the official name, Link, or it'd be a game like Pokemon, which you could either choose from the list and I would either be red, or I'd just put in my name. So that would just... That was how it worked. I didn't really have anything in mind as an internet handle or a gamer's handle. Um, when I started social networking in, uh, in high school, back in the MySpace days, uh, the URL that I claimed was something along the lines of Dance Into the Fire. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? I, uh, I, I really liked that uh, the James Bond theme by Duran Duran. The, uh, the theme song for, what was it? Uh, a View to a Kill. That's the one. Uh, anyway, that was, that was too long for almost anything except the URL. So, for games like that, I would try, I would do, I would put, like, DITF or whatever. Or, I would try and use something else. Uh, I, I did have a, a, a shorter, kind of fantasy-sounding name that I made up in middle school for some character from a comic strip, maybe? There was a lot of stuff that I thought I was going to do creatively in middle school. But, uh, it was some, some adventurer type for a character named Daishin. Yeah, in my defense, I was 12. Um, later then, after that, I, uh, I used Alex a lot, with a Y, no less. Uh, alongside some second name, something that started with a Q. Um, Kensu. Kensu, that was it. Yeah. Alex Kensu was the name that I used on RuneScape when I discovered it. For the record, I played RuneScape for about 45 minutes, and then closed the browser and never looked back. Not really a slam on RuneScape. I guess it is a little bit, but it's mostly just to be funny. Um, I'm kind of indifferent toward RuneScape, just as I'm kind of indifferent toward toward uh, World of Warcraft and uh, most MMOs in general. The point of this is screen names. Alex Kensu. Uh, now I think about it, I think I either... I think I swiped that name either for or from another fantasy story that I came up with a little bit later in middle school. Um, I feel like the story... I know what story I took that from. It was a, uh, it was a story about a, some orphan kid who gets sucked into another world and is trying to find a way home. Kind of a standard fantasy, especially a standard video game fantasy plot. Uh, at that point... My, my greatest experiences with fantasy tended to be game-related. So the, the storyline that I came up with was very much a video game storyline, and obviously it didn't go anywhere. Um, but I put a lot of effort into that story, now I think about it. I drew up maps of this uh, fantasy world, which, honestly, I really was proud of, considering the fact that I was in, like, seventh grade. And I would totally still be trying to refine that idea and make it work if I hadn't lost the binder with all of those notes, all of those drawings, all of those maps, everything. All of my creative endeavors from about 6th grade all the way through high school, all of my creative endeavors were in this binder 
which got lost when I first went away to college. I searched everywhere. I've searched all around this room, everywhere up there when I noticed it was gone. I just can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. The gist of all this, back on my uh, original point, I needed a new internet handle. Preferably one that wouldn't embarrass me either then or in the future. So, some summer in high school, I was coming back from a summer camp, a hiking camp, in New Mexico. And in the airport in Albuquerque, I bought the Born Identity to read on the plane ride home. And that was where the, the seed was planted. For those of you who don't know, the character Born was some Delta Force type secret agent in uh, the Vietnam War. And his code name was Delta from the, the NATO phonetic alphabet. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo. Echo was the next letter. Now, even at 15 or so, as neat as I thought that was, I thought about it and realized I'm not going to be able to just use Echo on anything. Any website, any online game, anything like that. It's a simple four-letter word. It's going to be taken. So I needed something else. And I, I, it, at some point, I guess it, uh, it just occurred to me to use punctuation to customize it. I really I have no idea where that idea came from, but it did. And uh, I, the first thing I thought of was forward slash. I mean, I just glanced down at the keyboard. It's right there next to the shift, right next to the period, forward slash. But slash echo, eh, it, it didn't really appeal to me. Delineating further forward slash echo just it didn't feel right it was it was a lot a lot of syllables it was really long it i just i didn't like it so in the end i settled on backslash backslash echo sounded punchy to me uh, a few searches a few test runs on various uh websites and so forth showed me that it was at least fairly unique I was happy with it. That's the story. Um, there's not a lot else I can say about now I think about it. Um, when uh, DeviantArt came along, or rather when I came went along and found DeviantArt, um, I needed an avatar to use that was, I don't know, square, 100, or 80 pixels by 80 pixels, whatever their requirement is. It's, it's something tiny. Um... I needed some kind of uh, avatar or symbol, and so I made one. And uh, I, I use it for uh, pretty much for a, a profile avatar for pretty much anything that I don't particularly want my actual face on. So, there you have it. Thanks for listening, everyone. Backslash Echo, signing off.